Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here and we're back with another Stationeers tutorial video. On today's tutorial we will be covering a more advanced pressurization system for your base. Before we get started here, I'd just like to thank you guys for all your support. After talking to you in my last video, I definitely saw a wave of likes and subscriptions. So again, thank you guys so much. Now let's go ahead and get started. Last tutorial, I taught you guys how to pressurize your base up just by using oxite, but in this tutorial, we're going to get a little more precise by using a gas mixer. Now, we're going to need a couple tank connectors, a little bit of pipe, obviously that gas mixer, a passive vent, and some cable coil. The first thing I'm going to do is just tear up some of this floor. Okay, now that I got the walls removed, let's go ahead and start connecting things up. So the first thing that we need to do is put down our two tank connectors. There we go. Then I'm going to find a good place to put down my gas mixer. I think we'll do it right about right there. It's perfect. And we can get rid of that. And now we have to connect up our pipe. Okay, now I've got our pipe hooked up here. The next thing that we're going to do is put down our passive vent which can be placed directly at the end of our gas mixer here. It's really nice because it makes this a really simple circuit. Now I'm just going to lay down my cable coil. Okay, now that all of our wiring is done, we can go ahead and change our mixture around here. Input 1 comes in straight and input 2 comes from the side here. So we're going to put our oxygen straight in. And normal breathing air is comprised of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and maybe about 1% of other gases. But in this mixture, we're just going to do 21% oxygen. So we're going to change input 1 to 21%. Now, luckily in stationers, you can have a pretty wide variety of air mixtures that you're still able to breathe. But for now, I'm just going to try and get it as close to normal breathing air as possible. Okay, the last step of this process is going to be getting our tanks connected. Now, one way to do this would be to grab the tanks that we've pressurized up using our gas filter system. If you guys need help with that, I'll leave a link for it right now. Or else we can just grab our tanks. So oxygen will be on the far side and nitrogen will put on the closer side. Okay, they are all connected up now. Now that everything is hooked up, the final step is to turn on the gas mixer. Now, this isn't the most optimal way to pressurize up a room, just because you don't have the best control over it. So for now, I will turn it on, but I will also show you guys real quick how to make a really easy logic system to control this for you. In order for us to automate the pressurization process, we're just gonna need a couple more things. We're going to need two logic input outputs, one logic memory, and one logic processor, along with one kit sensors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place our sensor really at the furthest portion of the room as possible. There we go. That will just allow the pressure to build a little past what we're going to set it to, so then it isn't constantly flicking on and off. Okay, so we're going to put a logic reader here. And at the very end, we'll put our logic writer. In the middle here, we'll place down our logic math. And we will also place down our logic memory. Now all we have to do is get this wired up. Okay, everything is wired up here, so now we can go ahead and start programming it. So our logic reader, first thing that we want to do is read what our gas sensor says our pressure is. Oh, let's just see here. Pressure. So gas sensor, pressure. Let's turn this guy on. Okay, so 57, which is about right. Okay, now we need to set our logic memory. Now this is what we want our pressure to get set to. So we want it to 105. Let's see here. Oh, don't need to press alt. 105. 
And we need to compare that, so we need to change this to a logic compare. There we go. And we want to say... So, with this, we want the gas mixer to be one or on when the pressure is lower than 105. So, we want our logic reader to be less than our logic memory. So, we'll turn this on. So, right now, because the pressure is less than 105, we're showing one, which we will want to write that to our gas mixer. So we have our logic writer here. We'll turn this on. Okay, now that it's powered up, we can actually power it down while we're programming it, just so we don't do anything we don't want to do. So our input will be our logic compare. Our output will be our gas mixer, and the output variable will be on. There we go, and we can turn this on. There we go. So now our gas mixer is on because the pressure is less than 105. So it looks like we've run out of nitrogen here, so we will have to replace that tank. Okay, and let's put this into place here. And finally, we just have to wait for our pressure to get up to 105 to make sure that our logic system is working. Okay, our pressure is getting really close now. It's going to go a little bit over 105 just because the pressure sensor is on the other side of the room. Okay, and look there. The second that sensor hit 105, it switched off. So now, once this room depressurizes for any reason down past 105, it'll start pressurizing up again. And we can turn on our tablet here, and it shows that we're at 105.9 kPa, temperature 19.7, and we have a perfect mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. And I've finished up everything by putting the walls back into place, and man, it looks really good. And it looks super sleek. And with me replacing the nitrogen tank, I have been able to adequately pressurize this space up. And we still have quite a bit left. And again, if for some reason we were to have a little leak, and our gas sensor were to go below 105, you can see our gas mixer kicks back on here. Uh, as requested before, I will be putting this onto the Steam Workshop. So just uh, search my name, I believe, and you should be able to subscribe to it and get it for yourself if you want to just see how I did it or mess around with any of the settings or anything like that. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. And if you've been enjoying my videos and my tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, it means a lot to me. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.